everyone. Thank you for tuning in. My name is Professor David and welcome to my YouTube channel. So today, we're going to talk about an educational multi-perspective instructional strategy called cubing. Today, on the Chemistry Chronicles. Welcome back. So cubing. What is cubing? Cubing is an instructional strategy that asks students to consider a variety of different perspectives. So the cube has six sides. As a teacher, you can have each side of the cube be a different activity for the students to do. The student rolls the cube and does the activity that comes up. This can be done alone, in pairs, or in small groups. In pairs or small groups, each student takes a turn rolling the cube and doing the activity that comes up. Each student can roll the cube about two to four times depending on the magnitude of the assignment. How I would do cubing in my science class is to have one student roll the cube and they would lead the discussion or the activity that's, that's being rolled, have another student take notes, you know, keep track of what's going on, and once the activity or discussion is complete, pass the cube on to the next student for the next activity and the previous student can be the next scribe. So you're probably asking yourself, what about differentiation? How is cubing differentiated? Well, not all students receive the same cube. You can differentiate the tasks and cubes according to readiness and interest. One cubing activity might group the gifted learners for more challenging, higher level activities. Another cubing activity might group students with different readiness levels according to their interests. I like cubing because it gives students who like to use their hands a chance to feel like they're playing while learning. Cubing gives students a chance to look at a concept from a different series of perspectives and is also very flexible and encourages depth and complexity. Since all students are working with cubes, they may not be aware that their neighbor actually has a more customized cube. So in the description I have a link for you where you can print out a template for your own cubing activity. So have you tried cubing in your classroom? What did you think about it? Any concerns? Any critiques? Comment below let me know. So thank you for watching, everyone. That's it for today's episode. Rate, comment, favorite, and subscribe. I'll talk guys later.